Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with my first After Effects tutorials and I'm going to be making tutorials in After Effects as well as Sony Vegas. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this effects as I showed you guys earlier. And basically, we're going to use a plugin called CC Split. And what this does is that it'll uh, deform your video or deform your video so that it creates a little opening on any specific region. And in this little space, you can put in text or any pictures or anything like that. So, what you need first is your video clip. And it'll look best if you have it recorded at 59.94 frames per second. So, first thing he's going to do is we're going to slow it down. So, right click on the video clip, click time, enable time remapping. And go to right click again and go to frame blending and click pixel motion. And for those of you guys who don't have Twixter, there's another option for that. So if you click on your video and go to effects, go to time, time warp, it works the same as Twixter. So by default, once you add the plugin, the speed is going to be 50%. Change that back to 100. Now we're going to go to the part where you actually want to slow down your clip. Again, this plugin works the same method as Wixer, so there's, there's not anything different. Alright, so after I make the shot, I'm just going to click on the stopwatch of the speed, go forward about 5 frames, and then bring it down to 5%. And as you can see, it's just as smooth as Twixter. Now on to using the plugin. So go to Effects and add Distort and go to CC Split. Now just a few seconds or a few frames after you slow down your clip. You want to keyframe the split, go forward about 20, 20 frames, and bring this up depending on how large your object in the region is going to be. So I'm just going to set this to about 100. And what you want to do is click on the video clip and press U to see the keyframes. Alright, and I'm just going to go forward a few frames more, then click add a keyframe, and then go forward about 5, 10 frames, and then change the split back to 0. So that when we preview it, it's going to open up, and then close back on again. So, next we're going to be adding the text and we're going to animate the text so that it kind of bounces out and then bounces back in as this little effect starts to close. So I'm just going to type in my text. And by the way, this font is called Bebas New. I'll include a link to that font in the description. Position it right around here. All right. So keep the keyframe uh, viewer on the video clip open. And for the text, what you want to do is click on the text on the uh, layers and press S to bring down the scale. And before you actually do anything, you want to put the text below the video clip. Alright, so on the first keyframe of the CC split, you want to click on the stopwatch for scale on the text. And then set the scale down to 0%. Alright, 
and she want to go forward a little bit after the second keyframe of the CC split and bring it up to about 130 and then go forward and then stop about a frame before the third frame of the CC split and then bring it down about 10% And then go to the last keyframe of the CC split. And go for the text, bring the scale down to zero. So let's preview it. So that's how you do the CC split effect in After Effects. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you like more after effects tutorials please comment on this video and if you have any more suggestions please post them in the comments or send me a message and i'll see you guys next time